Hello everyone, this is Dr. Smriti Ahuja with yet another research video for scholars, authors and writers. Well, in this video, we learn how and where to use adjectives and adverbs in writing our research papers, articles or thesis. The knowledge of adjectives and adverbs is a must for building a rich vocabulary. Let's learn how we can actually differentiate between an adjective and an adverb. An adjective is always used to describe a noun. So please check if you are actually describing a noun, then only the adjective will be used. An adjective is also used to describe a pronoun. While an adverb is always used to describe a verb, how an action is being performed or even when an action is being performed. So the first sign is if you are describing a noun or a pronoun, then you have to use an adjective and if you are describing a verb then you have to use an adverb. The second sign that differentiates between the two is its placement. An adjective is used before the noun while an adverb is used after the verb which it is describing. So these are the two signs which will help you to use and place your adjective or adverb in an apt manner. Let's understand this with examples. Adjectives are our describing words. They describe nouns and pronouns, names of people or places or animals or things and pronouns are used in place of nouns. So these both sets of words are described by adjectives. We are also calling them as modifiers because they help to modify a noun or a pronoun. For example, an innovative solution. So here solution is a noun and how is the solution? It is unique and innovative. So innovative is an adjective. In the second example, issue is a noun and how is the issue? It is complicated. So complicated is an adjective. Similarly, concern is a noun. A serious concern here, serious is an adjective and also important recommendation. So recommendation is important. So it is an adjective, important as an adjective. Now, we will learn when and how to use an adjective. Sometimes we use adjectives, but they do not lead to any value addition. They do not add any contribution to your research. So in that case, you need to be aware and you need to check whether the adjective you have used is contributory or it is unnecessary. Only use an adjective if it makes your argument sharper and even concise. It is actually adding to the value of the argument. Secondly, whatever adjective you are using, you should be able to justify its relevance. You should be able to explain why you have used that adjective. For example, if you are using the word interesting, you should be able to justify why this particular finding is interesting. Similarly, if you are using the word appropriate, you should be able to explain the relevance of that method. Let's check this with an example. In the first case, the researcher faced an acute dilemma. Here, the word acute is adding to the intensity or the seriousness of the problem, which is a dilemma situation. In the second example, the word real is used as an adjective, which is actually making this challenge really practical. So it is a contributory adjective. In another example, we see novel is an adjective. It actually talks about that the solution is really new and unique. Similarly, an interesting result. So here the word interesting is actually denoting that the result, which is growth of another species of microorganisms was not expected. So hence this finding is interesting. In the last example, the words systematic and appropriate are contributory adjective because they are actually confirming that the method used is beneficial. So these are set of contributory adjectives. Now let's check when not to use an adjective. Sometimes using unnecessary adjectives can just mean that you are flaunting your word power and they are just being used to impress the audience, to impress your guide, but actually they are not contributing anything. So for example, if you are repeating the two words which have the same meaning as adjective, then it is not contributory. 
Also, when it does not add any value to the reader's understanding, then it is unnecessary. And when it is not adding to any value to the argument, then it is unnecessary. Let's check some examples of unnecessary adjectives. For example, in this statement, the words crucial and necessary mean the same thing. So even if we eliminate one of the adjectives, the statement will remain the same and there will be no value addition. So in that case, we can only choose one adjective while one of them is unnecessary. Also, if we go ahead with the same statement, different and unique, they are almost the same meaning. So we can conveniently go for elimination of one unnecessary adjective out of the two. In the second example, the words important and fundamental, both are used together. If we eliminate one of the adjectives, it will not take away the seriousness of the situation. So the statement will remain intact. So one of them is an unnecessary adjective. Third statement, here the adjective quick and expedient are used. Expedient also means quick. So we can conveniently go for one of the adjectives because both mean the same thing. So these are our list of unnecessary adjectives. Now let's move on to adverbs. Adverbs are another set of describing words and they describe verbs, means the action words. They help us to understand how the verb is being performed, when it was performed, where the verb or the action is performed and even the frequency of the action, frequency of the verb, how the action has been repeated. So for example, surprisingly likely, these are a set of adverbs. Adverbs are very important in a research manuscript because they help in drawing the attention of your readers and guides towards the important actions which have been taken in the process of your research. They also put emphasis or stress on the accurate verbs or actions which were being performed during an experiment stage or even during the writing process of your research article. When you are using accurate adverbs in your research statements, that is a reflection of your knowledge about writing skills and about your proper word choice, which eventually gains credibility to you as a researcher or an author. Let's check a few examples of adverbs. In the original version, we see that there are a couple of words which are now condensed in the form of an adverb. So it is surprising that can be compressed into a single adverb surprisingly. So this in the improved version, the statement is now more concise and it is even sharper. Let's check another example. The set of word phrases, it is regretted that can be compressed into a single word, unfortunately, which is an adverb. So here also the argument is now more impressive and effective. Let's check the last example. The words like it is clear, it is evident or it is probable actually denote a possibility which can be written as clearly or probably. So a single word can be used which acts as an adverb and this clearly makes the view to reduce your word count and makes the argument or the statement sharper, concise and it adds brevity to your content. I sincerely believe that you find today's video informative and valuable. For any assistance on proofreading services, please contact me at the mentioned email ID. To receive future updates on research videos, please like, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel Learning with Chandan. Thank you so much.